I'm here at Lime Ridge Mall in the steel city of Hamilton, Ontario today to visit with the folks at the recently launched Win Mobile, one of the first independent mobile carriers to launch in Canada since Fido in 1996. We had originally hoped to interview one of Win's employees today, but after calls to their public relations people at their headquarters in Toronto, they declined, saying that their employees were, quote, not equipped for media interviews. While Win Mobile is the new provider on the block in the often monopolized wireless market, the people of Hamilton are still on the fence about this internationally owned operator. I think we should keep it Canadian. I think that it gives the Canadian marketplace more opportunity to be more competitive. It actually forces them to bring their prices down. I think it's a great thing. I don't agree with it. I think we should have our own. It kind of takes away jobs from Canada and things like that, so I don't agree with it. I also don't agree with a lot of things that are you know, foreign coming into ours. It's not fair. It's not fair because you know our jobs get taken away from us for plus it's money that's out of our pockets for them to provide for them. We just give it to them when they come to the country, and that's not fair to us. That's pretty much it. Uh, I think it's a dicey issue because um, the same thing goes around in third world countries. So um, if you ask me, um, I think that it's just the taste of what happens in third world countries because the same thing happens over there with foreign uh, countries. So. Um, I'm not saying it's, 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 it's good, but I'm just saying that uh, having a discussion like this would raise awareness as to how other um, developed countries also have their companies going to third world countries and, and uh, have illegal stuff going on. Well, basically, I'm not happy. Win Mobile has racked up an impressive 5,000 customers in its short time being in business, but coverage problems seem to be its biggest hurdle right now, with drop calls and coverage holes being discovered on a daily basis. Wynn's chief customer officer, Chris Robbins, has said there is work ongoing on a daily basis on Wynn's towers, and they hope to have all the kinks worked out in time for their Ottawa launch. Unfortunately, their whole philosophy of wanting to have conversations with the people has fallen flat, with calls for interviews being met with an insurmountable amount of hoops to jump through.